One thing that you guys don't get to see that often on the channel is our menial tasks that we do in our day-to-day -day life. So right now we're off to do laundry before we embark on what may be the longest and most uncomfortable train journey that we've taken so far here in Thailand. So not only was first class fully booked on this train, but second class was pretty much fully booked as well. All of the lower bunks were fully booked, so me and Leanne have been put onto two separate upper bunks, which means that we won't be sitting next to each other for the whole train journey. And not only are we sitting apart, but this train journey is not 13 hours long. This train journey is 18 hours long. We start at 2 p.m. in the afternoon, meaning that we are sat on a bench next to a stranger for about seven hours. Laundry all done. We're ready to go back and check out of our hotel. So we spotted these in a market in Bangkok the other day. We didn't know what they were. I've never seen them before in my life. And um, we Google searched them and it turns out they're called Manila Tamarind. They're apparently very seasonal and they're meant to be quite sweet. But uh, no idea what to expect with these. They, they've got a big seed in the middle. And there's also insects crawling around inside it. Go on. Not that sweet. I mean, they've got a sweetness afterwards, but the first flavor you get, it's like really nutty. Yeah, and then there's like a sweetness at the end. They're actually quite pleasant. The aftertaste is almost like, it's kind of like a cross between an apple and a plum at the end. But to begin with, it tastes like a nut. Really unusual. I should quite like them. I'd say a good seven or eight. I've never tried them before. Um, Come on, let me try one. Probably best not to look at the bugs crawling around inside. Okay. They're like eating a, um, a really ripe hazelnut. But there's more like um, vegetal taste to it. But it is quite sweet. I really like them. Oh, the red ones are supposed to be the best. Mm, I actually really like them. I'd give them like an eight. So I just had my very first hack. So I just had my very first haggle experience at the train station here. I walked past just as the guy put out some meals, and we were looking for just some quick, easy, ready meals. So he wanted originally 50 baht, and I went, "Ooh, you know, I've been here a month now. I kind of know what things cost." And he went, "All right, all right, all right." He said, "Okay." 40 baht each and I was like yeah and he gave me a high five and he said happy new year so I'm pleased with that so we made it onto the train um, 
All of our worries have been alleviated. The people who are sitting opposite us are so nice. They seem really friendly. We've got, as I say, 18 hours. We are not separated by much. In fact, I'm sat here and Leanne is right there. So it's not gonna be that bad. I'm gonna try and film out the window this time because it's only 2 p.m., which means we have a good, good four hours of sunlight before the sun does set. So hopefully I'll get some nice views and be able to shoot the sunset out the window. So the beds are all made up again, and I'm back in my own bunk. It's still quite cozy. This is what I've got in terms of space. Once again, the camera bag does take up quite a lot of room, but I'd much rather it was up here with me than just free where anyone can grab it. It's quite a comfy little bed, and uh, the people that we've been sat next to have been really, really pleasant, really, really nice. I'm uh, gonna watch some Netflix. And then I'll probably go to sleep in a few hours. I think I'll actually sleep quite well tonight. It's quite quiet on the train. I'm kind of getting used to this. So I'm also going to try out my uh, my face mask hack to keep the light out my eyes. But yeah, I'm quite comfy. And uh, I think we've got about 12 hours left of this journey before we, we arrive in Hat Yai. So uh, see you in a little bit. So it's currently 7.30 a.m. We're still about two hours away from Hat Yai. I think we've been on the train now for 17 hours. We've been on the train for 17 hours. Still got another two at least to go. It's been quite nice so far. It's been comfortable, it's been pleasant. Everyone's been so friendly. We keep getting offered snacks by people. It's about a really nice trip. hours. Welcome to the Golden Crown Grand Hotel. This place was £15 a night. I don't know how they're running this place for £15 a night. It's absolutely massive. The room's quite big. Come and have a look. Here's the room. The aircon's really good. I don't know what this is. That can go. Uh, let's do the bed jump. Oh, still gets me really nervous. I'm gonna break my neck. Oh, that's a soft. 
bird. Springy? Is it on wheels? Oh, it's on wheels. We've got lamps. First time I've actually got a Bible in Thailand. A mind development book. Nice big chair. Waters. And if you come back here, a view of nothing. <laughs> nice TV. And a fridge. Andrew's little desk for all his editing. Tea and coffee, kettle, thank God. A nice mirror, a hairdryer that works. <laughs> and the bathroom. And it's got a plug. We've got a sink. We've got soap, shower cap, cotton buds, conditioner and shampoo, and nice shower, toilet, and a bunk. So one of the dishes that I really, really missed from Malaysia is a dish called roti chanai, which is like a folded flatbread with either sweetened condensed milk or a nice mild dipping curry. So we found this little Malay restaurant and we've come here and ordered two roti chanai and we're so excited to try them. So we've got our order of roti chanai here. We've got some sweet curry sauce, some condensed milk, nice hot coffee, Got this lovely, like, flattened warm bread here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And she's just brought us this. Oh, it's like a tea. It smells lovely. Mm. Everything's hot and it's boiling, but I think it'll make us. So you take a little bit of the roti. I can't even describe it, it's just so good. It's not that spicy. Really good. That was amazing. Um, we finished everything. We've just got the strong coffee left, which has been diluted with a little bit of condensed milk at the bottom. And this seems to be like a chrysanthemum tea. And it tastes really good and it like washes everything down because that's quite a heavy greasy meal and this is quite light and refreshing so we love this place. So that's it for this vlog guys. We're going to leave this one here and we'll catch you in the next one. Also don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell icon. <laughs> Apparently 70% of people aren't subscribed so please subscribe. <laughs>